bloody roar three demo yes i am playing the bloody roar 3 demo so i want to give a quick shout out big shout out to the arcade striker and possibly a source before him that made this accessible this is only available in japan and i say only japan because well if you look at the bottom you gotta press x to quit once you quit this bloody roar 3 demo preview thingamajig will pop up and then the intro will replay essentially my friend michael is sick so at the moment i'm covering for him once i am able to get access to the bloody roar archives channel y'all will see uh, this on the channel as well i will be offering commentary and talking about the little differences uh and some other uh changes that this demo version of bloody roar 3 has to the final uh console release uh for one example minus the demo text on the bloody roar 3 logo there's actually the demonstration screen now, if you look at the characters' names, Bakryu and Uriko, specifically those words, they don't have the yellow outline on them anymore. Also, there's no like ranking system or high score system or time attack uh, ranking or anything on the screen like you usually see. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this is only available in Japan, so there is no American demo version of Bloody Roar 3, I don't believe. Also, Bakri used flames right there. I, if I'm, if my memory says me correct, they don't last that long once the super's finished. And also, Uriko's ball super here, it didn't have those, it didn't have that signature sound effect where it's like, Arr! so that's also not there. So that's about three different things. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna show off is the character select screen, specifically the characters Alice. Well, right off the bat, you can only play as four characters. That's that's like the main thing that's obvious. But the other little key uh, key things that is different compared to its final console counterpart is uh, Alice. Alice's portrait is slightly different. Her render is slightly tilted a little more to her right, which is our left. Uh, Jenny's face looks a lot better <laughs> in this. And uh, Sheena slash Marvel, her render also looks slightly different compared to the portrait that you see before you uh, right here. So yeah just a few key differences uh you are only able to play as four of these characters unfortunately so you can't play as all one two three four five six seven what about 12 12 13 14 characters can't really count out right off the bat at the moment but we'll just go yugo just because why not i'll pick a second costume also that's another thing there's only two costumes in this bloody war 3 demo and you actually can't use your analog stick. This is being played on the PS2 emulator, but you cannot use your analog stick. You will have to use the D-pad. But I just mapped my D-pad to the analog stick, so I wouldn't have any problems. But yeah. Other than that, the game still plays relatively the same. You just want to reconfigure your controls to your liking so then you feel comfortable. Which is what I gotta do every time I boot up this demo. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, I will point out something else once we beat up Bakryu here. Once we knock him out anyway. So usually when you defeat an opponent, there will be a flash of light or some effect, you know, dramatic effect that they'll show uh, that you've actually knocked out your opponent completely, but it's not there. Uh, as for Hyper Beast, Hyper Beast still remains the same. Really nothing that much different. It's still Raid from Bloody Roar 1 as we all know. And there's only two rounds in each. Uh, it is only two rounds that you can do in each fight or set with a character. Another little detail uh, right here with Yugo, actually, I was just about to mention this. Thank God it actually, you know, picked him. Uh, Yugo's default texture on his pants, if you look at it, they're actually lighter than the final console counterpart, if my memory serves me correct. His pants are slightly lighter blue. Has this, like, teal color, if that's the right color that I'm thinking about, thinking about right now. I don't think he has that in Bloody Roar 3, the final version. Marvel. Oh yeah, the announcer. How could I, I completely forgot about the announcer. Now, I can't remember if it was just on Marvel or if it's on all characters, but the announcer sounds different compared to the final version as well. The final Japanese version doesn't have a Japanese voice, it has an English voice announcer. But yeah, one of the thing I wanted to show off with Marvel is this move right here this move yeah this is freaking yugo's move from bloody roar one this move right here and fang also has it in bloody roar uh, extreme so it's kind of weird seeing her use it 
Of course, the move got replaced by that little swipe attack that she does, which is good for counter hitting, uh, hitting, counter hitting to follow up with a crouch grab or her quarter so her 360 grab. So, yeah. There we go. Now, if she says yes, she'll have more of a s at the end. Yeah, that's not in the final version either. So that's pretty cool. Oh! That's another thing. Uriko doesn't have her flip kick. Wow, I didn't even know that. Like, I'm just learning, learning that now. She doesn't have her flip kick after the cat stance. Damn, that's interesting. I wonder how far, you know, before it released, this was, like, made. Like, how far this demo goes back in terms of, like, months. Because it was still, like, this demo dropped the same year the game released in America. And I'm pretty sure on consoles, you know, in 2001. Because it was on the arcade in 2000. So it does carry a little bit of the assets from the arcade version. Like, the character portraits. Yeah, Uriko looks different. She does not look like that in the final version of that animation. She doesn't have her head cocked downwards and she's looking at the camera like that. So yeah, just little differences there. Okay, this AI is on some fucking crack. What the heck? Jesus. Oh shit. I don't know why I'm trying to challenge a Hyper Beast Yugo. There we go. Shout out to tracking. Oh, there's the other dialogue. Yeah, she does not say that. That's definitely not don't tell my mommy okay in Japanese. That's definitely something else. If anyone understands kanji or Japanese or any just high level of any of those things, y'all can try to tell me like what she actually said. Also, that kick where Bakri was just like, yeah, like he doesn't sound like that either. Wow, I'm like learning shit as I'm playing this. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that was close. Oops. Try to hit him with a cross up. Didn't work. I'm not sure if that scream of Bakuryu is actually the same either in the final version. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah, that. Yeah, lightning in Japanese. That knee palm that he just said. That's definitely. He doesn't. Doesn't sound like that in the final version. It's also slightly different. Oh crap. Ah. Is the end of the Bloody Roar 3 demo video. Thank you all for watching. I probably missed a few things, but I tried to key point as many differences as much as possible since I played Bloody Roar. I, I've played Bloody Roar 3 a ton of times. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if this is on the Bloody Roar Archives channel, thank you for watching. And Mike, I hope you feel better. Peace.